This video is sponsored by Cuckoo. They make air purifiers that help you with your allergies. We all know a massage feels good. Our cats think so too. How are you feeling, Aria? But there are also real benefits to offering your cat a massage. A cat massage improves blood circulation, reduces stiffness in muscles and joints, alleviates stress in your cat, and most importantly, helps build a strong bond with your cat. I started giving my cats a massage once a week, and my relationship with my cats has never been stronger. I am the cat butler, and today I'm going to show you how to massage your cat. So get ready for all the lovely purrs of joy. Before you attempt any form of massage, you will need to ask your cat for permission. Timo, do you want a massage? You can tell your cat is open to a massage by looking at its body language. If your cat is in a relaxed mood, or if your cat starts rubbing against you, they are ready for massage heaven. Now, let's begin. Start your cat massage by lightly stroking your cat from the neck to the base of their tail using the palm of your hand. This technique is known as effleurage, typically used in Swedish massage to help warm up the muscles and stimulate blood circulation before deep tissue work. Having your cat on a comfortable flat surface also enriches the experience. For Timo and Aria, I decided to use their scratching posts and added a soft cushion to make them feel comfortable. Are you feeling relaxed, Aria? Once you feel the back muscles have eased up, move on to your cat's shoulders. Using your thumbs, rotate your fingertips clockwise or counterclockwise to make slow circles around your cat's shoulder blades. Then, slowly move down their back with a light touch. The sweet spot is usually at the end of the back or the top of the cat's butt. That is because the base of your cat's tail is highly sensitive due to all the nerves concentrated there. This makes any form of touch enjoyable for your cat. Isn't the sound of a cat purring just beautiful? I personally feel calmer and less stressed when Timo and Aria purr. Do you guys feel the same? Let me know in the comments below. After you're done with their back, we apply the same massage technique to their face. Caress the sides of their face with the palm of your hands while applying circular motions to the forehead and cheeks. Pay attention to their reaction, especially when you give your cat a face massage, as some cats like this more than others. Timo is big on face massages. Is that right, Timo? After we're done with the face, you want to work on their head. Without pressing too hard, massage the space behind the ears and their chin. The area around the ears are very sensitive because they contain a lot of nerve endings. So be gentle. Once you notice your cat is relaxed and happy, it's time to start a deeper massage. The technique we will be using is called Petrasage, typically used to relieve muscle tension, knots in soft tissues, and muscle spasms. It involves opening and shutting your palm while pressing lightly with your fingers along your cat's spine. Squeezing, rolling, and kneading are some of the petrasage movements. Instead of a soft touch, you'll be a bit more firm with your cat. The goal is to feel the tissue's underlying structure without pinching it. Loosen those knots in your 
cat's muscles. The Petrasage massage is especially useful to cats that don't like to move around too much. The benefit of this type of cat massage is that the reflexes in the muscles are mechanically stimulated, which helps increase muscle tone for cats that prefer a slower lifestyle. Timo, did I hit the right spot? Lastly, gently massage the toes, legs, and knees. This will relieve any arthritic pain or joint stiffness. I love looking at my cat's toe beans. Aren't they just beautiful? Before we go on to the next technique, you may have noticed the air purifier in the background. It is the reason why I'm able to give my cats a massage today. If you didn't know, I am allergic to cats. When I first got Timo and Aria, I had trouble breathing. And getting an air purifier helped clear my stuffy nose by removing all of the floating pet dander in the air. From my experience, it has not only helped me, but other friends who are allergic to cats. So I really believe in air purifiers, and that is why I agreed to work with our sponsor, Cuckoo. They offer a H13 True HEPA air purifier that has a five-stage filtration that keeps the air in your home clean. The pre-filter is washable, while the other filters require a replacement. The allergen filter needs to be replaced every four months. The H13 True HEPA filter and carbon filter can be replaced every 12 months. Working together, these filters eliminate 99.97% of harmful airborne particles as small as 0.1 microns in size. So it is good at removing particles like pollen and dust from medium to large rooms. And if you live in a more polluted area, an air purifier can also help to improve indoor air quality by removing harmful particles in the air. An air purifier can also help you when you're cooking. Sometimes, when I cook steak, it can get very smoky in the kitchen and usually ends up with a fire alarm going off. My air purifier was able to eliminate all that smoke. So if you have allergies or like to reduce the amount of dust in the air, or if you want to reduce pollution in your home, Cuckoo offers a solution. You can find the link to this model or other models in the description below. Use promo code CATFILLER20 to get 20% off the Cuckoo Air Purifier. Using my link will help support the channel. And if you want to learn more about how an air purifier works, I'll link the video in the description below. The last technique is to potman, which is a light percussion type movement that helps increase blood circulation. Usually for humans, we would be using a chopping motion. I recommend only tapping our cats softly. Softly tap your cat while keeping an eye out on your cat's reaction. Some cats may not like it, so make sure your cat enjoys it first. Make sure you're offering your cat an enjoyable massage. Be aware of the reactions you're getting. Does your cat start scratching? Then it is probably time to stop their massage. Or is your cat purring, drooling, or kneading? Those are good signs. Now that you know how to offer your cat a relaxing massage, we want to end the experience with some delicious cat treats. This will help your cat associate a massage with positive rewards. Timo and Aria love these Bonito flakes. What I like about them is that they are high in protein and low in calories. So my cats don't gain too much weight. If you're interested, I'll link it in the description below. Are you happy with your massage, Timo and Arya? I guess so. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner 
So please join us. Comment down below. Do you give your cats a massage?